Okay, it's eight o'clock. So I don't have any students yet, but we're gonna go ahead and get started for those that are watching it online. So if you are, hello, there we have. Oh, Lisa, how are you? Lisa, you are at work, no problem, I understand. I'll change your name, relax. Okay. Keep on watching these videos. They give you a preview of what this section will be about. My name is Matthew Hawks and I'm a singer-songwriter. Making music is my creative outlet. The way I make sense of the world around me. When I sit down to compose, the first thing I do is tune my guitar. Once the guitar is tuned up and ready, I set up the keyboard. The keyboard has multiple functions and multiple sounds. What comes out of me is a reflection of how I'm feeling that day. Sometimes, I can spend hours writing one piece. I'm writing this song. I titled it, Revelations. Okay, so we can see a little bit about the video. What is going on in the video? Where What is he focusing on? What is he doing? He is playing the piano. Okay, he's playing the piano. Good. Now, I know that some of you came a little bit late, but at the beginning, he says he's a, a songwriter. Okay, so that means he makes. Uh, he talks about that he is the person um, who is a singer songwriter, kind of like Taylor Swift. You can think about it like Taylor Swift, the person that makes the music, but also sings the music. That's the idea for him. And right now we're looking at the process, how to describe the process of doing an activity. Okay. Right now, before he begins doing anything, he tunes the guitar and prepares the piano or the keyboard. Let's see what else he has to do to have from zero to having a song on the radio. When I sit down to write, one of the things I like to use most is a thesaurus. I started with a one word, revelations. What is that? He's talking about a thesaurus. He likes to use a thesaurus. What is that? Maybe he is uh, writing the the letter the, of of the music. Okay, yeah, that's right. He's writing the lyrics. He's writing the lyrics of the music. The thesaurus is like a dictionary, but is for synonyms and antonyms, not for definitions. So a thesaurus is going to give you synonyms and antonyms. That's going to be the difference. Okay. I look it up in the thesaurus, and I could have 10 words then, each with a different sound, each offering a different rhyme scheme for me. As I
When I feel I've taken my song as far as I can, I then bring it to a recording studio. I think it's important to get feedback and ideas from other musicians. Aldous Collins is a guitarist and a friend. He accompanies me in the recording studio. At the studio, we work with a recording engineer. I'm Richard Marr. I'm a recording engineer. My job is to capture music of a band. I go around and mic everything up, it comes through my board, and it's recorded into the computer system here, a multi-track recorder. All right, guys, roll it. The recording engineer mixes all the vocals and instruments together. What does the recording engineer do? Uh, the engineer mixing, mixing the recording when when they play the instrument or, or sing, maybe. Okay. I'm sorry, Morena. We can't understand anything that you are saying. Yeah, it's raining in my house. Okay, no problem. I apologize. I don't know if you can do me as well. Yes, no, a little bit better. Yes. Yeah, thank you. Oh, I tried to say that he is an engineer because he captured the song and he makes all the instruments. And then he he records the song when he gets the 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 song mm -hmm. about about the the each instrument that he hears it. Okay. Yeah, that's it. The idea is exactly that. Uh, the recording engineer mixes the sound and the voices. So the engineer mixes all of the information together, not only the music, but also the artist, what they are saying. Mm -hmm. Recording your music can actually teach you a lot. You hear your own music differently. Revelation. It changes your perspective, and you notice all kinds of things that you didn't when you composed the song. At the end of the recording session, I have a digital file of my song. I take my songs to radio stations and try to get them to play them on the air to build an audience for my song and my music. Hi. My name is Melanie Oliver. I'm the program director here at the radio station. The program director's job is to decide what music is played on air. So I pick the songs and tell the DJs what songs to play. Hey Josh, come on in. Hey Melanie. Hey. So I've picked the three songs that we're going to use for the local music show. Okay, here's some background information. Great. One of the artists' name is Matthew Hawks. Okay. The song is called Revelations. It's going to be a really good song, so I think you should play it on your show. Great. I look forward to playing it. Great. Thank Th you. Thank you. My name is Josh McBride, and I'm a DJ right here at the radio station. The main responsibility of a DJ is to play music on the radio. Other responsibilities include adjusting the volume, speaking with listeners, conducting contests, and reading commercials. Here's a new one from a Boston local. Matthew Hawks did this one. This is Revelations right here on WERS. And now, people all over the world can download it too, which is so cool. If you want to download it, look me up. My name is Matt Hawks. At www.matthawks.com And the song is Revelations. Okay, so as we can see, quite a bit of things go in to creating the song, right? It's not only, ah, I want to make a song. There are many steps and many processes. Okay. Tell me, what did you understand were some of the basic process to create music? What does he have to do?
Do you want to watch the video one more time? Yes, please. Yes. Okay. <laughs> okay, I see because I see everybody very quiet. Like, I teacher, um, mejor otra vez. Ah, okay, no problem. <laughs> yes. Okay. Let's try it one more time. This time, I'm not going to stop. Please listen, take notes, and watch the process. Write down first, then next. After that, uh, follow. Try to focus in the process of creating the music. Okay. Here we go. One more time. Enjoy. Keep on watching these videos. They give you a preview of what this section will be about. My name is Matthew Hawks and I'm a singer-songwriter. Making music is my creative outlet, the way I make sense of the world around me. When I sit down to compose, the first thing I do is tune my guitar. Once the guitar is tuned up and ready, I set up the keyboard. The keyboard has multiple functions and multiple sounds. What comes out of me is a reflection of how I'm feeling that day. Sometimes I can spend hours writing one piece. I'm writing this song. I titled it, Revelations. When I sit down to write, one of the things I like to use most is a thesaurus. I started with a one word, Revelations. I look it up in a thesaurus, and I could have ten words then each with a different sound, each offering a different rhyme scheme for me. When I feel I've taken my song as far as I can, I then bring it to a recording studio. I think it's important to get feedback and ideas from other musicians. Aldous Collins is a guitarist and a friend. He accompanies me in the recording studio. At the studio, we work with a recording engineer. I'm Richard Marr, I'm a recording engineer. My job is to capture music of a band. I go around and mic everything up, it comes through my board, and it's recorded into the computer system here, the multi-track recorder. All right, guys, roll it. One, two, three. The recording engineer mixes all the vocals and instruments together. Recording your music can actually teach you a lot. You hear your own music differently. Revelation. It changes your perspective, and you notice all kinds of things that you didn't when you composed the song. At the end of the recording session, I have a digital file of my song. I take my songs to radio stations and try to get them to play them on the air, to build an audience for my song and my music. Hi, my name is Melanie Oliver. I'm the program director here at the radio station. The program director's job is to decide what music is played on air. So I pick the songs and tell the DJs what songs to play. Hey Josh, come on in. Hey Melanie. Hey, so I've picked the three songs that we're gonna use for the local music show. Okay, here's some background information. Great. One of the artists' name is Matthew Hawks. Okay. The song is called Revelations. It's going to be a really good song, so I think you should play it on your show. Great. I look forward to playing it. Great. Thank Th you. Thank you. My name is Josh McBride, and I'm a DJ right here at the radio station. 
the main responsibility of a DJ is to play music on the radio. Other responsibilities include adjusting the volume, speaking with listeners, conducting contests, and reading commercials. Here's a new one from a Boston local. Matthew Hawks did this one. This is Revelations right here on WERS. And now, people all over the world can download it too, which is so cool. If you want to download it, look me up. My name is Matt Hawks. At www.matthawks.com. And the song is Revelations. Enjoy. All right, so quite a bit of information. Tell me, what are the things or the process in order to create a song? Um, the process is in order to to sell the the album or the song. Mm -hmm. So, what are the steps? Ah, uh, the step, the the first one, uh, the first ones, the people, uh, the bank, or or whatever, um, sign the letter, um, and then he composes the letter with an um, his, his instrument, like a guitar or like a piano. After that. He go to the the studio for the feedback. For, for he is very important the feedback side. Um, and the studio, the engineers fix the sounds. After that, um, when the song is recording in the studio, and the song is uh, is putting in the the radio in the radio maybe the manager maybe um, give the the song to the DJ <laughs> the DJ put in the radio and and then the people listening and buy the album or, or the music <laughs> and finish. Okay, all right, pretty good. Most of that is the idea, and that's going to help us a little bit with this unit. In this unit, that's the idea. We're going to be talking about different jobs and the process or the things that they have to do, okay? So different jobs in movies or actions or different, maybe even in yours, exactly that. In this moment, now we're going to listen to a conversation about working in the movies, People that work in the movies. What do you think about? What are the different jobs of people working in the movies? Of course, the most famous is, as an example, actor or actress. Mm -hmm. What other jobs do you think they have in the movies? Director. Mm -hmm. Like a director, good. How, how do you say extras? Uh, that's, that's it. The same, the same. Extras. Yes, okay. Extras. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Great. So we're going to watch, a, we're going to see a little conversation um, about working in the movies. Let me know if there's new vocabulary or words that you are not clear about. Hi. If someone tells you that making videos or movies is hard work, would you believe it? Pay attention to Ryan and Nina talk about filmmaking. Movies are hard work. Part A. Listen and practice. Working on movies must be really exciting. Oh, yeah, but it's also very hard work. A one-minute scene in a film can take days to shoot. Really? Why is that? Well, a scene isn't filmed just once. Lots of different shots have to be taken. Only the best ones are used in the final film. So how many times does a typical scene need to be shot? It depends, but sometimes as many as 20 times. 
one scene may be shot from five or six different angles. Wow, I didn't realize that. Why don't you come visit the studio? I can show you how things are done. Great, I'd love to. Listen to the rest of the conversation. What else makes working on movies difficult? Okay, so what did we get? What about, what did they say? Here we have the first part of the conversation. Let's take a look there. Can you see that? It's okay or it's a little bit small, right? Yes, we can see it. Yes? Okay, let's practice it. Morena, can you please be Nina? Maximo, can you please be Ryan? And let's practice the conversation. Good evening. Good evening. Working on movies must be really exciting. Oh, yeah, but it's also very, very hard work. A one minute lesson in a field can take days to shoot. Really? Why is that? Well, I guess it is in a film just one lot of different shots have to be taken. Only the best ones are used in the final film. So, how many times does a typical scene need to be shot? It depends, but sometimes as many as 20 times. A scene may be shot from five or six different angles. Wow, I didn't realize that. Why don't you come visit the studio? I can show you how things are done. Great, I'd love to. Okay. Are there any words that you didn't know or anything that's not clear? It's clear, teacher. How, how do oh, you pronunciation the, the pronunciation the angles? Angles is what is the meaning Angel, of the angles? Angles. 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 Uh -huh. angles. Uh -huh. What do you mean when you say five or six different angles? Angles. If five or six different angles is, for example, five or six different positions. Like when you have a selfie, when you take a picture with a selfie, here, 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 here. These are the ideas for the different angles. So yeah. when you watch a movie, when you see the movie, you see the movie like this, and then you see the camera here, and then you see the camera here. So they have to repeat. It's not six cameras. It's the same six different times. Mm, okay. Mm -hmm. awesome. Good. Any other words? realize okay um i didn't realize that similar in this in this concept is i didn't i didn't know that mm -hmm. so i didn't realize that is i didn't know that okay let's listen to the rest of the conversation wow i didn't realize that why don't you come visit the studio? I can show you how things are done. Great, I'd love to. Listen to the rest of the conversation. What else makes working on movies difficult? So you see, it's not really as glamorous a job as people think. I guess not. For example, the hours are dreadful. So it's not exactly a nine to five job. Not at all. Sometimes we shoot a scene right through the night, or we may start work early in the morning. We have to get everything ready for a shoot, the lighting and everything, and that can take hours. So if we're going to start filming at 8 in the morning, we usually have to be on the job by 3 or 4 a.m. to get ready. 3 in the morning? That's unbelievable. Oh, no, it's not. Believe me, it happens all the time. Ooh, what did she say about it? What else did they say in the conversation about making the movies? It's easy or difficult? Okay, let's listen one more time. No problem. Let's Your listen internet one more time. is bad, teacher. The internet is bad. Can yes, you... teacher. 
Can you listen to me or your, not? Your internet. My internet. So, so. So, so, okay. Sometimes the, the internet is, is a okay. problem. Let's try one more time. So, you see, it's not really as glamorous a job as people think. I guess not. For example, the hours are dreadful. So it's not exactly a nine-to-five job. Not at all. Sometimes we shoot a scene right through the night, or we may start work early in the morning. We have to get everything ready for a shoot, the lighting and everything, and that can take hours. So if we're going to start filming at 8 in the morning, we usually have to be on the job by 3 or 4 a.m. to get ready. 3 in the morning? That's unbelievable. Oh, no, it's not. Believe me, it happens all the time. Okay, was that better? Yes, we're listening. Okay, okay, good. Tell me, what else did they say is easy or difficult? It's difficult because when they have to to make a or take the is send at the eight a.m. they have to to start at three a.m. maybe mm -hmm. for the for 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 the beginning day. The sun or the, or for a, for already in this time. Correct. That's the most difficult. For example, when Tom Cruise goes for the scene, no, Tom Cruise only goes. But before Tom Cruise goes, they have to have the lights, the camera, uh, the action, the set, the drama, the play. They have to spend many hours organizing everything that's why it's difficult work for the other people because it's not only easy like ah let's begin and that's it no they have a lot of things to do mm -hmm. great and that's part of the idea today we're going to be looking at describing and understanding how to describe process right understand and practice passive to describe process for this, it's important for us first to take a look at what is the passive. The process, we saw two examples. We saw the example for music. We saw the example for movies. First, then, after. Uh -huh. These are kind of some of the sequence words. But also, we're going to learn the passive. In this moment, let's watch the video and learn a little bit about the passive. Hello, in this lesson we'll study passive to describe process. Get your notebook and get ready to take notes. The passive to describe process. Is R plus past participle. A scene isn't filmed just once. Only the best shots are used. Modal plus B plus past participle. One scene may be shot from five or six different angles. Lots of different shots have to be taken. Before we begin, let me review the reasons for using the passive. Number one, we don't know who does the action. Number two, the doer of the action is not important. With this in mind, we will use the basic passive. In other words, be plus past participle. Work with me on this first sentence. A scene isn't filmed just once. Only the best shots are used. Did you notice the use of B plus past participles? We may also use passive with models. This is the rule. Model plus B plus past participle. One scene may be shot from five to six different angles. Okay. Let's take a look a little bit at that. So here we have the way to describe it. 
How can we describe it? We talk about the topic, a scene, a song, a movie, whatever topic. We use the verb to be in positive or negative, is, isn't, are, aren't, and then always we need to use the past participle. Now, not always is obligation the model, but we can use the model if we want to, okay? So not only that, but if we use a model, we use the verb to be, not the verb is, are. So as an example, here we have a scene is in film just once. So we can say a scene uh, may be filmed more than once. We are not going to use isn't. We're going to use may, may not, could, could not, should. We can use different models, but always we're gonna use the verb to be to describe the process. Is that okay? Okay, so here we have the basic, the verb to be, the past participle. That's the basic for passive. Always the verb to be and the past participle. Only the best shots are used. Did you notice the use of be plus past participles? We may also use passive with models. This is the rule. Model plus be plus past participle. One scene may be shot from five to six different angles. Are you able to describe a short process? You may use first, next, then, and after to help you out. Okay, and that's what we're going to do in this moment. In this moment, we're going to describe a short process. What process? Any process in your job, in your profession, um, depending in what you do or where you work. In this case, we're going to practice for your job. Okay. So as an example, if your process, if you are a receptionist, okay, what is the process uh, to do this activity or that, right? To get copies, to create this, to talk to a client, to get a proposal, to get a meeting, whatever it is. We're going to take a moment, talk about your job, and describe the different process that you have at work. So let me give you an example with me. Okay. So before giving a class, okay. To give a, 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 um, a class needs to be a planned before I give it. First, um, the class has to be investigated or I must be prepared, videos must be prepared and uploaded. The class in support has to be informed of all the recipients. Then we have to have authorization. This is the idea. Whatever you want, but describe all of the process step by step for your job. It's okay, or do you need any vocabulary? It's okay for me. It's okay? It's okay. All right, thank you.
Alba, you okay? Okay, okay. Esther, Esther uh, is like dirigir. I stir all things that the team do. Oh yes. Um. Um. And you? Uh, tell me about uh, your job or what okay. do you do? Yes, my job is. Uh, I think that is easy because I receive some inbound calls. Um, I only is, is, is easy because um, we need to uh, organize the idea. <laughs> <laughs> it's easy okay, uh, because uh -huh, I only, I only, Do? Okay, oh. I only no no no. I I would like to introduce the class, but um I I can get the idea so so fast. I I I type the information in the in the. In the software, um, we make uh, sales sales taxes too, and payroll taxes too. We we process that information in the software, and we send a statement to the client at the end of the month. And um, that's um, all the all the time we we work with uh, different kind of of clients like restaurants and
Okay. Any questions about how to describe a process? Yes. In my case, for example, I, I don't know how can I introduce to a conversation the, the structure. Yeah, I got it, but it's difficult for me to introduce, introduce the conversation. Okay. Usually you're going to begin with the topic and not with the action. So many people begin with the actions. Um, write, uh, call, meet. No, you begin with the topic. What is the topic? A memo, an email, uh, a meeting. What? What is the topic that you are describing? Okay. And then when you have the topic, then you describe what has to be completed for that topic. We don't know who does the action. So give me an example of something in your job. Let me think. Or what is your job, Monena? For example, my, uh, okay. I receive inbound calls, right? I okay. receive inbound calls and I have to qualify all the, the person that called me. All depends what the customer needs, right? Mm -hmm. If the customer needs to get uh, our service, I'm going to transfer to sales department. But the customer needs to pay the bill or maybe the customer doesn't qualify for get this service, I'm going to transfer to customer service because the customer has to pay some dog or something like that that the customer has. So super easy, Morena. Mm -hmm. First, the topic, a customer. Mm -hmm. What happened with the customer before you? A customer is filtered. A customer is qualified before I receive the call. A customer must must put in their account number before I receive the information. All of these are passive. Everything that must be done before you get it. That is the okay. idea. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. And you can use modals, must, has to, can, or only the verb to be and the past participle. A customer is filtered with a computer system. Yes, 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 yes. Yes, I, I got the idea. Okay, very good. Don't worry, in this moment, we're going to practice the passive. In the chat, you see four links. You should have four links. Please copy and paste them in Word or in the notepad or open them on the computer. We're going to practice in this moment doing the four links. Do you have the four links? Wait, wait. Yes, okay. yes. No yes. problem, no problem, Guadalupe, no problem. Okay. So we have four links. You have three minutes, three minutes with each link. The idea is decide how to use how to change from the active to the passive. The first links are easy, only multiple choice with your partner and make the decision. And then the last link okay. is where you have to decide and analyze more. What, are we okay. ready? Guadalupe, ready? More ready. Yes. ready? Yes. I'm ready. Alba, ready? Anna, ready? Maximo, you ready? Yes, yes, teacher. Okay, let's do it. Okay, uh, you can see? Yes. 
We are. Okay. Yes. Okay, we are going to start with the first. <laughs> <laughs> okay. The girl kicks the ball. The ball? The ball is is, is yes, yes because, because it's in person. Is it? Yes. In person. The, the chef, chef baked the cakes. cakes. The cakes are were, baked. Were baked. Were, were. were baked. Because it's in the past. In the past. Mm -hmm. Yes. The woman drove the car. The car was driving. Was driving mm -hmm. by the woman. My mom we, we, my loves me. I, oh, I love it. I love it. Love. Yes, by my mom. <laughs> yes. The man write the, the, the letter. The letters. Why is the letter? Where? Where baked? Baked by the chef. By the chef. The, the woman dropped the car. The car mm. was 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 driven the by the woman. Are you sure? Are you agree? I agree. Okay. My mom loves me. I I am I'm loved. Loved. Okay. The man writes the letter. The letters are written. I written by the man. The student with the books. The books uh, are read. Are read by the student. I wash the dishes. Mm. The dishes. Uh, sure has. Picasso paint the pictures. The pictures are were, were, painted. were painted. Ah, yes, okay. because it's Check. pictures. Oh. Oh. Um, uh, we the are, student we read. Ah. Uh, uh -huh. We're Okay. Yes. Okay. Check. Okay. With the second exercise. An old woman. An old feed woman feed the pigeon. The pigeon. Where feed? Where feed? Okay. Yes. An old woman mm -hmm. feeds the pigeon. Okay. A uh, burglar broke the window. The window, the window was, broken. was broken. Broken. Someone has made a mistake. A mistake has been made. Has been made. Mm -hmm. Everyone is going to love her. She is going, going to be to loved, be loved by everyone. <laughs> it's okay. This four. Yes. Yes. Everyone is going. Yes. Servant wrote Don Quixote. Has been. Don Quixote. Oh, ah, yeah. Has, was right. No. Has wrote. been grading by Cervantes. Oh yes. no. Was no writing. no. Has been great. Great. Yes. Because maybe growth the first. is past. Mm -hmm. Yes, maybe it's the first. Yes, uh, she's helping my sister. My sister is helped or is being helped. Yes, is uh, she is is in present progressive. Maybe uh, she is is being helped. Uh -huh. Pamela, Pamela will, will ride the bus. The bus. The bus. Will be will be driving because it's in yes. Mm -hmm. I was waiting mm -hmm. waiting the plant. The, the plant. plant. Was yes, it's okay. Being is in past. I was waiting in the plants. The plants are being are watered. Being, uh -huh. I know are we where break is time. Ah uh, yes. Uh, a yes. check oh. in which one? Ah, in la de Don Quijote. <laughs> Our <laughs> fed it was right. Okay. Check. Okay. 
the third passive form exercise. My father bought the house. Uh, the house is bought. My parents was were. bought because yes, it's in. Bugler broke the window. The window was mm, mm. was broken. Mm -hmm. Secret is break broke broken. Yeah. Uh -huh. yes. Was was was. Uh -huh. Someone has made a mistake. A mistake. Mm. A mistake has been made. Okay. Someone has made, uh huh, has made a mistake. A mistake has been made. Has been made, I think. Everyone is going to love her. She will. Bridge with stone. Yes. Romans bricks were built. Romans were 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 right. Maybe well, it's our because is will will because it's in it present is our where uh, are ah uh, okay are <laughs> wrong the no, first uh, one no okay the, the second. The second, oh, the second. <laughs> yes okay okay in the in the chat i'm going mm -hmm. to leave an extra link in case you finish early you have an extra link that can help you practice because the other group is only an exercise too and they're having some problems so i'm going to help them and then you guys if you finish early there is an extra link in the chat okay thank you thank you okay 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 okay, okay. 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 Pig, yeah, pig, pig, the pig 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 Okay. pig 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 Wax the dog. The dog mm. is being eh? is being walked mm -hmm. by my brother. He opened the window. The window mm. has been opened. Oh, and it was open. Was open. Okay. By him. By him. Someone has stolen my treasure. My treasure uh, has, has been, been stolen. stolen. Okay. They will sell the house. Mm -hmm. The house. The house. Mm -hmm will be sold will be will be or will will okay so if you're at home let's take a look one more time a little bit about the passive and how to do it here, let me show you the video one more time. Last participle. One. Hello, in this lesson, we'll study passive to describe process. Get your notebook and get ready to take notes. The passive to describe process is R plus past participle. 
A scene isn't filmed just once. Only the best shots are used. Modal plus B plus past participle. One scene may be shot from five or six different angles. Lots of different shots have to be taken. Before we begin, let me review the reasons for using the passive. Number one, we don't know who does the action. Number two, the doer of the action is not important. With this in mind, we will use the basic passive. In other words, B plus past participle. Work with me on this first sentence. A scene isn't filmed just once. Only the best shots are used. Did you notice the use of B plus past participles? We may also use passive with models. This is the rule. Model plus B plus past participle. One scene may be shot from five to six different angles. Are you able to describe a short process? You may use first, next, then, and after to help you out. Okay, how do you feel with the passive? Is a little bit better? Do you understand better? It's good, Guadalupe. One bad is no problem. But uh, yes, I think uh, we try to understand the, the phrases, other sentences, and try to connect with uh, our knowledge. And I really like this exercise because uh, is like a, a gym <laughs> for the the brain. <laughs> yes, it helps you because in this exercise, it's easier to connect because you have the sentence like normal and then you can see how you change to use the passive. Now, what is the function of the passive? The passive, the real function is only to change the focus. Change the focus from Morena to the activity. Morena calls the clients. Now, no focus in Morena, focus in the clients. The clients are called by Morena. This is the objective, to change the focus and give the same information. It's okay or no? Yes, it's okay. Yes? No questions? No questions for me. No questions. Okay. And before we finish today, did everybody finish Unit 3 exam? Unit 1, 2, 3, and the unit test? Yes, I did. Yes? Any yes, questions? I finished the unit three. Excellent. The test. Good. Any problems or any questions about the test? No. No? No. Okay, excellent. Thank you so much for connecting. Tomorrow we continue okay. practicing more this activity and okay. others. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Bye-bye. Thank you, teacher. Bye. Have a nice night.